NVIDIA stock, NVDA ticker symbol. Today, today's not a lot going on. Today we're only up around 1.1%, not a big rebound, a fairly small rebound in line with the broader market which is coming back from what almost was a bear market. Yes, we're up today, but over the past six months, still down 46.41% year to date, down 43.15%. The pain in the stock, the pain in the stock is evident, it is real, it is painful for NVIDIA shareholders who bought in at the start of the year, last year thinking upside potential, thinking massive growth going forward, thinking that this could become one of the single most pivotal companies in the world. And I believe you are still right. I still believe in the next five, 10 years, it can absolutely become that. On a fundamental level, it has all the characteristics to execute on that. But I've heard this broader narrative around NVIDIA recently. This narrative that somehow the company is uninvestable. That in this inflationary market, in this stressful, fear-laden marketplace, we simply can't be buying NVIDIA. NVIDIA is uninvestable, untouchable, too much growth priced in, and not enough underlying quality. And it's easy to understand. It's easy to understand when there's fear proliferating throughout the marketplace. You see people saying, well, the stock's down so much. You know, month over month, week over week, we keep seeing more and more pain in this equity. It must be a stock to stay away from. Year to date, down 43%. The numbers don't lie. You must be staying away from the stock. That is just not the case. That is not the reality with this equity. Truth of the matter is, when a stock's falling like NVIDIA is, when it's falling so rapidly week over week, now down 48.48% from its high, you need to be thinking not getting fearful, not running away, not getting doubtful about the equity. You need to be thinking, okay, yes, Fears proliferating around this equity. The market more broadly is punishing growth predicated equities. But on a fundamental level, in relation to the underlying characteristics of this company, has it actually changed? And is there an opportunity present? Now in this stressful marketplace, even today when we're getting a bit of respite from the pain we've been feeling over the past few weeks, now when attention's moving away from the stock, that's the type of time to get we're acting, to get moving in this marketplace, well, everyone else is just taking a break, taking a breather. You as an investor need to be taking this opportunity, taking the time to focus on the companies, look into the numbers, analyze what you actually own and what you intend to own going forward. Because if you take those steps, if you actually conduct thorough analysis of NVIDIA, the prospects for, for growth, for value accretion going forward are evidently massive. Financial strength, that is simply world-class in both an industry and businesses more broadly across businesses more broadly we think microsoft apple the financial strength of nvidia is right up there top tier financial stability a cash to debt ratio of 1.82 a large amount of cash in hand reinforced by a healthy altman score an altman score of 17.03 indicating a tremendous degree of underlying stability with this business this by its very nature is a classy company, financially stable, secure going forward. The risk of this company going default, virtually zero. And yet day over day, when the fear proliferates throughout the marketplace, when you see people commenting negative things about NVIDIA, you begin to think, well, this must be the end of the line. This must be the end of the story. Truth of the matter is, actually look at the numbers, actually conduct a thorough and realistic, a rational analysis, you get a very, very different story. Financially strong. But not only financially strong, also immensely profitable. A tremendous degree of underlying profitab profit profitability. In fact, net margins of 36.24%. Historically, the highest net margins they've ever achieved. Oftentimes when businesses get bigger, when they grow and compound over time, usually we'd expect you know, lower net margins over time as they expand out, scale up their business. And yet NVIDIA, NVIDIA is the complete opposite of that as they've scaled up as they've got bigger instead of shrinking margins they've actually grown their margins expanded their net margins all the way up to 36.24 percent but there is another change occurring within this business this business is slowly moving away from the discretionary gaming unit and more towards the data center business and as that change happens as they move towards the data center business naturally we're likely going to see more free cash flow stability, more earnings consistency and overall accretion over time, and most aptly, increased net margin accretion, increased profitability, more profitability over time. That, that is the continued reality with the stock. That 
is what we're looking at in relation to this equity. A tremendous degree, tremendous potential for increased underlying profitability. The gross margins are there, operating margins are there, reinforced by that financial strength and tremendous degree of managerial acumen with high returns on equity. This, this is to say the very least a classy, classy company. Profitable, financially strong, and yet despite the down in the marketplace, this is still here. No one takes the time to look at these underlying numbers. No one takes the time to actually analyze the company. So many people caught up in the day to day. So many people caught up in, you know what CNBC is saying about the stock on the day, the news releases on the day informing your decisions. That should not inform your decisions. All that should inform your decisions on the day, all that should inform your investment decisions going forward is the actual tangible nature of what you're buying. In the reality with NVIDIA, what you're buying is of an immensely high quality. In terms of actual valuation, the price going forward relative to the growth taking place within this company, NVIDIA is equally compelling. Even today, even today with that uptick, the P-E ratio is still only 30.43. A current P-E ratio of 44.73. Look at these revenue growth rates. Revenue growth rates of 31.3% over the past three years. A three-year EBITDA growth rate of 38.5. Three-year earnings per share growth rate of 32%. No matter which way you look at it, growth is taking place consistently and at a very, very high level. Is that what these graphs are telling you? Is that what these declining graphs are telling you? Is that the information they give you? No. All this information reflects to you. All it tells you in relation to NVIDIA is the sentiment around the business, what the market believes is going to happen going forward. But if you actually look at the tangible numbers evident within this company, the reality is so very, very different. And understanding that distinction between what the market is saying and reacting to and what is actually happening in the business is the single most important thing in investing. So often we get caught up in the day-to-day, -day, caught up in the price moments. Fact of the matter is, we should really be focusing on this. Focus on the tangible fundamentals of the company we own. We also notice that with NVIDIA, massive growth continually takes place not only on an earnings per share basis, continually growing at 34.5% over the past decade, but also revenue, also operating income, also EBITDA, also free cash flow. All these numbers are simply world-class. Keeps compounding over time, keeps building up growth rates that are unworldly relative to not only other semiconductor firms, but businesses more broadly. And today, even with the uptick in the day up around, I believe, 1% at this point, let's have a look. One day returns, I believe we're up around 1.1, 1.1% today. Even if we price in, and even after that uptick today, growth of only 22% going forward, 22.42%, we're still getting a fair value. We're still getting fair value for our money. And on the day, if we price in, what is the low end of analyst growth assumptions, 35%, and if we up our discount rate to be more conservative, let's even up our discount rate more. We know there's increased Fed rate hikes on the way. So let's say a discount rate of 11%, very conservative relative to what we usually use. Look at that fair value. A fair value of $329.41. Margin of safety of 46.89%. This is the opportunity that's present. Massive, massive upside potential in the stock. Have the courage, have the bravery to act when others are not. And over the long term in the stock market, with informed decision making, you will do very well over time. Of course, conduct your own research first, understand the business before you make any moves. But if you enjoyed this video, if you have to learn something more about my current thoughts on NVIDIA on the day, then please drop us a like down below, hit subscribe if you haven't already. If there's a company or a topic you want me to talk about in the next video, then please just comment down below. We'd love to hear your thoughts. But until then, thank you. I'll see you in the next one.